to switch over. Let's take a look here. So I got something fun in the mail. So a lot of you probably like myself um, are looking at these new night hot models and you're seeing some of these guys like this and you're thinking, man, this guy's base is just so kind of sad. Like it really needs something more. Um, and so I went online and I looked around and I found this uh, awesome Etsy shop. Uh, of course, you can't read these because uh, I forgot I have everything flipped over. But this is Skull, Skull Forge Scenics. Um, they're an Etsy shop out of New Jersey. And what they provided for a low, low charge of, I think these were, oh, about 18 bucks for 30. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, let me let me look here. So these were 20 bucks for 30 of them, and eight bucks uh, is this piece, which is a ruined crypt. And so these are going to be some nice new flavor pieces. Uh, this will probably end up being a piece of terrain. This is a pretty cool little little piece here. Uh, really, really nicely detailed. I have to say this is almost Games Workshop detailing. Um, it actually looks really, really nice. It'll paint up really well. Uh, there's a lot of depth to it, so this is going to take it's going to take dry brushing. This is going to take uh, your your washes really well. So this is going to be really nice. Uh, and then we've also got. Fonder folks, thanks for that host. Also got a bunch of uh, tombstones here, and these are really nice. These are actually way nicer than I was expecting. Um, so all of these have got different levels of detail. Uh, again, they're really nice, deeply molded, deeply sculpted. So these are gonna paint up really, really well. Uh, some of these looks like you could make them double tall if you want. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Lots of RIP on there. But yeah, these would be great. And so the the point of these, what I'm what I'm planning on doing, um, as you can see here, like that's that's actually a really nice size. Um, adding these in on the base here. Could even maybe do a couple of them. Uh, in rows, add some other debris and detrius and stuff like that. So uh, these are actually going to be really cool. Uh, I've been waiting to actually work on this guy. Uh, I've got this and a couple of others, and these bases were so big and empty. So I really wanted something on there. So this will be this will be great because now I can finally finish these models and put these in my painting queue. Love this skull. Um, again, this is Skull Forge Scenics on Etsy. Uh, I, I bought these, so I, I'm, this is not a paid advertisement. I paid for these myself, so I just thought you might uh, like to know there's a cool resource out there. Uh, if you're doing like I am and, and thinking, man, these night haunts are super cool, but they just need something more, like, you know, especially some of these big guys where the, the bases are just looking empty. Uh, you know, you've got these cool models that have got these awesome things already molded on them. And then for some reason, some of these big models, they just like skipped it entirely. And then this, I'm hoping that there's a big model that I can put this on its base, because uh, that would be fantastic. But otherwise, if not, uh, it'll make a nice, just a little piece of scatter terrain. Uh, one of the other things that he offers is a, uh, a whole set of like cemetery, uh, most other walls, and a bunch of the tombstones like I just got. Uh, and, and I think eventually I do want to put together like a, a cemetery setup for my night haunts. So that'll be cool. Uh, but for right now, I just thought that would be neat. Share that with you. Uh, I was pretty happy when those came today because they look fantastic. And now we're going to get back to work on Grimgast Reapers.